Hi, BJ Posnecki. Today's video, I wanted to go over bathroom exhaust fans. So many of you are, are accustomed to the usual bathroom exhaust fan that you turn on and off whenever you need to use it when showering or using the washroom. However, a lot of times nowadays, uh, newer houses will be equipped with a continuous running fan. Being that we're making the houses tighter nowadays for energy codes, there's less permeation. So what we need to do is we install a continuous running fan that is interlinked with a fresh air intake on the furnace that brings fresh air in from the outside, circulates it through the house, and then removes it from a continuous running fan. So we happen to be in the powder room and you'll notice how you can de um, decipher the difference between a regular exhaust fan and a continuous running fan is, is well, one, typically the regular exhaust fans, when you turn them off, the fan motor completely turns off one, and usually the grill will be smaller. Usually it'll stand, the, the continuous fan will run out because this grill is a lot larger than what you're, the, the typical exhaust fan. So um, you can make adjustments on these and that's uh, one thing I wanted to touch on too here. So with these exhaust grills, or excuse me, these exhaust fans, you wanna just pull the grill down, okay? And you'll see in here, there is a spring, a V-shaped spring clip, all right? So we're just gonna squeeze this together, all right? There's one on each side here, all right? And that allows us to take the grill off. Now, when you look up in here, you're going to see two different dials, okay? This one is a little bit difficult because when the painters painted, they sprayed it so you can't see the lettering, okay? But I happen to know this dial right here adjusts the fan speed. So right now the fan is in the off position and it's running at about 30 CFM. When I turn the switch on, when I turn the switch on, whoops, down here, okay, to actually use the fan, it's gonna kick the fan up to 80 CFMs. And the CFM ratings can vary per, per, per fan, but this particular fan we're talking about, it goes, when it's in the off position, it runs at 30, or a lowest of 30, and then when you turn it on, the highest of 80. So what we can do, right now this fan is set at the 30 CFM. I can turn this up, I've got a little a little uh, eyeglass flat blade screwdriver, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you that you can turn this fan speed up by turning the dial. And also too, what I'm doing right now is I'm mimicking, this is when you flip the switch, you're gonna hear the RPMs raise. So this fan right now, I am essentially overriding it just because I'm not turning the switch on. Um, I'm turning it all the way up just to, to demonstrate what the fan sounds like when it's on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back down by turning this dial counterclockwise. And then this other dial here is for the time delay. So when you turn this fan off, it's gonna keep running at full speed and you can set the time delay from as low as five minutes all the way up to, I believe, usually 60 minutes on this particular Broen style fan. I'm gonna jump down to the basement real quick and just show you the fresh air intake damper that this works in conjunction with. Real quick, before we run downstairs, I'm just gonna show you how to put the grill back on. So, got the grill, I've got these spring-loaded V-clips what we're going to do is we're going to get one side in like so and then I'm going to squeeze it get the other side whoops and at least now that's hanging freely and then we're going to do the other side here one side first do the second and then the spring the, just the spring action of the clip will hold that grill in place. We're gonna head on downstairs. 
Okay, so this particular system doesn't have an electronic damper, but typically this flexible insulated pipe coming in, you'll have an exhaust vent outside that doesn't have a flap like the exhaust fans or your laundry. Uh, it won't, it'll have a, it'll have a bird cage over it, but it won't have a flap inside. And what that does, that'll be outside and that allows that fresh air to come in and you'll, you'll see a, uh, usually it's either four or six inch insulated flexible pipe and it'll run into the ductwork on the cold, uh, the cold air return side of the furnace. Now this particular setup here, uh, we're in Bloomingdale. Bloomingdale obviously doesn't require an electronic damper, so there's a manual damper. So you have to pull the insulation back and there'll be a little manual damper similar to a damper that you would see on a supply to dampen down the airflow to a specific room. But in other situations, you may see an electronic damper right at the uh, right at the end of the fresh air intake flexible pipe. And no action is needed. I just wanted to illustrate, but unfortunately at this particular house, it doesn't have it. Um, you'll see an electronic damper that's wired up and it will just open and close as needed when the system turns on. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And please leave a comment. I need more ideas on videos. So leave a comment or reach out to me directly with ideas. I'm always open for suggestions. Thank you.